My name is Stephen Evans. I'm an alumnus of Ohio University, and I work with a dance company in Cincinnati. My experience with Sean Kern shaped my world as a dancer more than any other teacher or choreographer. When he first showed up, we didn't know what to expect, and in the audition, we learned a movement phrase that he established in a piece called Quartet, and that would be the piece that we performed during the Winter Dance Concert. Because he didn't know us, I feel like he was more accessible to point out the things that we really, really needed to work on right away. Uh, there was support there. Um, he pushed us to try harder and to move our bodies in a more mature and artistic way, and it helped us to work on the different qualities that he really wanted us to bring out in his work. Um, it was a whirlwind of excitement to put this piece together. He really tried hard to make the piece um, for us. It became something that we felt we helped to create. One day during our rehearsal, he asked myself and another dancer about our plans after graduation. I mentioned I'd wanted to move to New York City and work as, with a company, and he invited me to join him in New York for a summer as an apprentice with his company. When I was there, I definitely felt like a company member. I learned two of his established pieces and helped create a few uh, other pieces that were new. I never had to learn or create work so quickly, and that was definitely an eye-opening into the world of performance. Sean really shaped me as a choreographer and a teacher. He has a huge toolbox of different ways in which to manipulate choreography, and that was just so inspiring. He thought the world around him was never black and white, but a billion shades of beautiful color. One thing I learned was that dance does not always have to be serious. In modern dance, there is often an emotional side to it, and it can be very negative. He taught me that there is more to dance than this negative energy, that you can look at the world around you through different lenses and not just your own. Working with him prepared me for my future, it opened doorways, it provoked me to think for myself, and it taught me to work hard for the things that I really wanted out of life. Hi, I'm Lauren Slavosky, senior BFA dance major at Ohio University, and I was in Stephanie Batten Bland's piece, A Place of Sun. When I auditioned for her piece freshman year, all I expected was a free class. But I ended up getting cast, and I was basically brought into this whole new world of dance. Um, it was like a world that I never wanted to leave. We got to rehearse with Stephanie for the first for two weeks, and in each rehearsal, she brought in an entirely new element. Um, first, we were just in the studio learning the movement and working with partners, a lot of contact improv work, and then she brought in plastic bags, and that's when the entire thing changed, and we started discovering how we were going to get out of these plastic bags. So after that, we covered the entire studio in feathers, and each time we brought the feathers into the studio, they served as a reminder of what the performance on the stage was going to be like. And then I realized that I'm going to be having feathers in my mouth while I'm dancing and I'm, I'm just going to have to work with it. It was a grueling rehearsal process, but each day Stephanie brought something into the studio that was completely new and wild. I always knew that as a dancer you have to have technique, but this was an entirely different concept that I had to embody another creature and still maintain my technique. And as a dancer, you never know when people are watching you. So especially with Stephanie, you always had to move to your fullest. And she always found a way to make us want to be more invested in the movement and find different ways of connecting with each other and with all of these elements that she brought into the piece. I came home from so many of those rehearsals with bruises and bloody toes and feathers in my underwear and I didn't even care because she just had such an energy and fierceness about her that was so intimidating. But whenever she was pleased with what we were doing, it was like the absolute most rewarding thing. She also found ways to feature everyone in a solo moment in the piece. And so for the first few rehearsals that we were working on my solo, you know, she kept telling me, where I needed to look, how I needed to breathe, and different ways of getting to a new place with it. And I remember the day that I really just let go and was like completely breathing into the movement. And it was such a rewarding moment. Um, I cried after that rehearsal and after the final performance, just because this was such an amazing, amazing experience. And it was probably one of the greatest dance moments that I've had thus far in my life.